Change happens in an instant. It does not take a long time to change your life. It takes a single moment. When something shifts in your brain, when you say, yes, I'm in, or no, I'm done, there's a single moment when you've rewired your mind to change your life. This is the Path to Mindset Mastery Podcast. My name is Brad Bizjack. I'm a certified high performance coach and personal development expert. And over the last six years, I've helped entrepreneurs turn their passions into dollars and help them come alive to their limitless possibilities. And this is the place where we're going to break through all the stuff that stops that from ever happening. And one of the biggest mistakes that I see is the assumption that it will take a very long time to change. Like it's going to take forever to change my finances or it's going to take forever to change my life. And if I take a look at my life and I start to think about when my, let's use the example of finances, when my finances started to change, it was when I stopped looking at them from a place of hopeless doom, like this would take forever. It was when I started setting insane goals that got me excited about actually changing. And people say, well, it took me 10 years to lose the weight. No, you decided in a moment to shift your identity, didn't you? There was a moment when you said, I'm doing this, when change actually happened. And all that followed from there was a different set of actions and beliefs and momentum from that new identity. In that moment, what happened? You shifted, you rewired. There was no going back. You made a decision. And ever since then, life's never been the same, right? So in this short episode today, I want you to start to think about moments in your life where you just made a decision to change. When you said no more, or I'm going to be in this relationship, or yes, I'm losing that weight, or I must do this, or I'm diving into this, or I'm saying yes to this. There was a moment in your life, if you take a look at one of the greatest changes you've ever made, take a look at your life and think about the biggest feats you've ever overcome. What caused that? Was it a lot of dedication over time in terms of your action? Sure. But what was the single moment where you actually changed? There was a single moment when you look back and you say, what was the thing that did it? And you're like, well, I tried and I failed, I tried and I failed, I tried and I failed, and then I shifted. There was still just one moment. In those other previous moments, maybe you didn't quite decide to change or you didn't shift what was going on in your head to actually shift. But there was one moment when you said, I'm going to make this change. And so what I see all the time as a big mistake is people thinking that it takes time to rewire your mind, to change how your default subconscious operating system works. It's actually an incredibly simple process that anyone can do. If I take a look at some of my favorite success stories from our programs, a lot of these changes happened, actually all of these changes happen in a moment. I look at my friend Jen. Jen was going through and trying to force success and in this place of kind of uh, feeling like she wasn't enough and trying to succeed but it wasn't happening and having these frustrations and these, this anger and doubt in her mind. But then one day, one day she made a choice. I'm going to be happy and live in a beautiful state no matter what happens. And I've known Jen before that and after that and ever since then. She's been bubbly, authentically bubbly and happy and has radically changed her life after going through really challenging times in her life. Or I look at our client Janelle, who once she shifted and made the decision to love herself, all of a sudden her entire career changed. Or Don Smith. Don was in an abusive relationship for years, but the moment she decided to have confidence, the moment she decided, I am confident, and she rewired her mind, all of a sudden, She found her purpose, what set her soul on fire. She created a course to help other women of uh, domestic abuse. So many, like countless, countless stories of that where change happened in a moment. And there was all this effort and trying and going after it and trying to figure it out for years and years and years until something clicked. Until that one moment happened where your mind was rewired and all of a sudden you adopted a new identity, a new way of being, a new way of labeling yourself. Have you ever joined a career and in that moment when you joined a career, you had a new identity and ever since you started with that new identity, different actions, different beliefs, different things flowed from that, everything changed when you made one simple decision. So what gets in the way of this? What stops us from wanting to rewire our mind? If it really is that simple, if it happens in an instant, and I'll show you a couple steps to make that happen right away, what stops us 
from actually getting to that place where change can happen. Because people say it takes years and years and years to create change, but no, it takes a moment to create change. But what happens over those years and years and years is we're likely making one or more of these three mistakes. The first mistake is that your vision of your dreams is likely too small. If you don't have a compelling vision of what could be in the future, you will automatically focus on the problems of the present. And what do most people do? They set their dreams based on what they currently think is realistic or possible or based on past failures. And if you do that, then what ends up happening is you just create more of the same and your situation just gets worse and worse and worse. When you learn how to rewire your mind to focus on what you truly want, a grand vision, a beautiful vision of the future, magic starts happening and you start to feel pulled. You think in different ways and you start to change your identity. The second thing that stops people is being dishonest with themselves about where they're actually at. See, most people will have circumstances occur for them in their lives where they can learn something and grow, but instead they're making those situations wrong. They're saying, I shouldn't be at this place in my business. It's so much harder for me. I'm worse off than I thought I should be. And they start to create stories, which makes them feel way further back than they really are. When you feel like you don't have anything compelling to fight for, or you feel further back than you really are, how hard does changing your life seem? It seems really hard. It doesn't seem like it can happen fast. It seems like it takes forever to change your life, right? And the third thing, the third mistake that stops this is being wired for attachment meaning not enjoying the ride, saying I am my results. I will feel some way when I get to somewhere, when I get to a goal. My dream is at the top of that mountain and I can't be happy until I get there. Those three things will stop you from changing your life. It will stop you from even being able to rewire your mind because you have nothing excited to pull you. You have no honesty about your existing situation. You're making up lies and inflating how bad it really is. And you're not actually seeing life is happening for you. You're seeing life is happening to you. And you're saying, I can't be happy until these things will stop you from ever wanting to make that instant change. Change happens in a moment. But can you see how if you're not excited about changing your life, having a vision, you're not going to want to change your life. If you think about being, uh, if you're making up stories about where you're currently at, making it worse than it really is. Do you see how rewiring your mind seems super impossible, like it can't happen? And so you'll try the same things over and over and over again, and it won't shift. You'll start to create this story that it's going to take forever to change. Or if you think that being at the goal is going to make everything possible that you want, then you're focusing on the effect. You're focusing on the outcome. And when you focus on your worth being attached to an outcome, you forget the cause. And the cause is your worth, how you feel, how you live. That's what's going to cause the outcome. And so if you feel like your worth is this moving target, then changing your life seems impossible. And it seems like it can only happen when you shift, when you create that goal. Those three things will get in the way of change happening like that. But I'm telling you right now that when you let these go, change can happen right now. There is a new identity that you're ready to break through, a new version of you that can come alive and feel totally ready to take on even the biggest changes. If I think back to the greatest changes I've made in my life, whether it was financial or physical or whatever it was, it all happened like that. And if I take a look back at each one, it's because I had this crazy compelling dream of what I really wanted. I was honest about my starting point and I was practicing being fulfilled before I got there. And when I did that, I started to adopt a new identity. And when I adopted a new identity, I shifted and everything changed. And that's what I'm excited to teach you. I'm excited to teach you how to do this, how to make change happen in an instant. Just a couple steps happens like that. It's so simple to do. And I have a program releasing this fall to show you exactly how to rewire your mind. The problem, if you are facing taking effort, it feels forced, you're craving that certainty of wanting to know how, or you feel like you're trying to avoid failure, or nothing you do feels like enough, or you go from to-do list to to-do list being stressed, like your worth is attached to an outcome, having terrible boundaries, and still trying to succeed and be fulfilled from that place, you're not gonna get there. How can you ever expect success to happen if you're wired for failure? And so, like I said, I'm creating a program to show you exactly how to do this, exactly how to reprogram your subconscious mind so you can have your breakthrough year, so you can create success fast and 
so you can feel fully alive and confident before you ever get there. And I want to make sure that this is custom built for you, custom built based on your exact situation, the thing that you are facing in your life right now. And so I created a quick couple questions survey it takes five minutes or less. It's totally anonymous. You don't need to exchange your name and email or anything like that at all. It's a five minute, totally anonymous survey that will help me custom build this program for exactly what you need right now for exactly what problems you are going through. So I can customize this and make it literally a perfect fit for you so you can rewire your mind in an instant. But I wanna make sure it's custom to what you are going through. I can guess, but I'd like to hear from you so that what I create becomes truly what you need the most. So remember, change happens like that. Happens in an instant. And I wanna show you how to rewire your subconscious mind so you can have your breakthrough year, feel more successful than ever before, have success faster than ever before, and feel confidence on demand literally whenever you want. So I hope you found value out of this today. Make sure you screenshot it, share it with your Instagram stories or Facebook stories, share it with people. They need to learn how to do this. It does not take a long time to change your life. It happens in an instant. And when you adopt that new identity, everything shifts from that moment go forward. So. Thank you so much for tuning into the Path to Mindset Mastery Podcast today. My name is Brad Bizjak. Go out there today and every day and live your life with a genuine smile on your face. Make sure you fill up that quick, anonymous five-minute survey down below in the show notes, and I'll see you next week.